All right, welcome to a new episode of Real Estate Versus Technology. I'm your host, Norman Kinsey. Let's go ahead and bring our co-host in. Here's our co-host, Mr. Dan Gandy. Welcome, Dan. Hey, nice to see you on StreamYard. Dude, this has been a really cool experience so far. I'm loving this. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm excited for today's actual podcast guest because we're going to go to Northern California. We're going to interview a power team that are crushing it on YouTube. I love what they're doing with their shorts. They've only been doing this for about a year and they've already having some success from what I can see. So we're going to go deeper into that. And before we do, we're going to go ahead and kick off our intro and then go ahead and have our guests come in. So we'll be back with you here in a minute. Welcome to a new episode of Real Estate First Technology, your number one resource to get the inside scoop from top performing real estate professionals. How are they growing their business utilizing technology in today's market? Hear also from top performing coaches that can help and serve you and your real estate business and also technology providers. Let's go deeper with these technology providers to ask them how they got where they're at today and how maybe their services could better serve your real estate business. A big shout out to Liftoff Agent for sponsoring our podcast. Go ahead and go to liftoffagent.com to learn about their marketing and positioning services to help scale your real estate business. If you haven't already done so, like the episode, subscribe. We want you to comment on YouTube what you learned from the episode and give us a review if you're going to be listening and streaming this podcast. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and enjoy this week's podcast of Real Estate First Technology. All right. Well, welcome back, y'all. And uh, this is awesome. I love this new cadence. And it looks like our guests just, I don't know if they have internet issues. Here they come. They're coming back. Here they are. Let's go ahead and get them in here and add them to the show. What's up, Roves and Steven? Welcome. What is up, guys? How you doing? Thanks for having us, Dan and Norman. Of of course. We thought we lost you there for a second. You know how internet works, right? (laughs) It's whenever you need it, more importantly, is when it like acts up on you. (laughs) Every time. Every time. Well, we're super excited. Yeah, well, we're excited to have you here. Thank you so much for your time. I see you're living in Northern California. Uh, YouTube channel, we'll go ahead and put that behind us. All links are down below for them and all our viewers and listeners to support, subscribe to the channel. But let's start off from the beginning. Like, why? Why real estate and and why YouTube? Yeah, so I actually got my real estate license fresh out of high school. My mom was a realtor in the Bay Area. So it was something that I have always just kind of learned. And um, I actually did real estate right out of high school. And then I didn't like it so much because I felt like I was too young and I didn't like the cold calling, mm. and the door knocking. Um, so I was actually in and out of real estate for quite some time. I did mortgage for about 10, 11 years or something like that. Um, and I recently got back into real estate in 2018. And again, the struggle for me was real, you know, door knocking at people's doors. Right, and man praying that like no one answers the door. So that wasn't really working for me. Right. (laughs) And so um, thankfully I ran into a coach who taught video and I started my business off on Instagram, did a lot of really good things on there. And, you know, a lot of our business was through Instagram, then building relationships and referrals. And probably around during COVID, I started noticing a lot of realtors, doing youtube like christina may um christina smallhorn and mm-hmm, Jeremy mm-hmm. knight i think that's his name and so i was like okay i want to do this and then i procrastinated well we lived in the bay area at that time and so we moved to rockland which is the sacramento area so it was like okay how am i going to meet new people in the area you know this is a big change for us so i need to do something very unique yeah. And so I started digging more deep into YouTube. I took um, Channel Jumpstart with Daryl Eves and a few other different things, just really trying to understand how it works. And, you know, honestly, it's a lot easier than I thought. Um, so I started, <laughs> <laughs> started off with like, you know, videos in my office doing moving twos and stuff and really trying to understand, like, what is someone going to want to know about this area? Um And there's a lot of like agents in my neighborhood that are already well known. So how am I going to break into this market Um, being the newbie on the block, but still like really knowing what I'm doing. And so I just thought that that was a really great opportunity for me to really dive into this area, get to know the place even more so, and then provide value to everybody that was looking. 
Wow. I have to say, I mean, Dan, that is awesome, right? I mean, this is, it's like, who wouldn't want to do this? I know, Dan, you're doing this too in your business as well. And it, you, you said at Bed Best Roads, you said, you know, learn about the area yourself, not to mention educate and share that knowledge at the same time. Yeah. I mean, it's been really fun. And, you know, for a while you have to go on blind faith that it's going to work because like we literally started doing video and then it was like, okay, are we, you know, we're not doing anything besides video. Is this going to pan out? Like we didn't know yeah. what was going to happen. Right. But from my experience with Instagram, I knew it took a while. And so when we first got our lead from um, YouTube, I was like, all right, we're, we're good. We, we, we <laughs> thought it was maybe a scam too. I remember our first lead we're driving. We're like, I don't know, man, let's call it. It was a legit lead that that was a really solid lead. It was like was you get a random right? text message like, hey, I saw I you on know. YouTube. I uh, want to buy a house. And we're like, okay, is this a real person? <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was a real person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, you know, we, we, it was a lot of trials. Um, ob obviously, we started out with like, and we still do like still use our iPhone. So it's really nothing where it has to be like super technical. I actually do our thumbnails myself. Wow. Um, you know, I just, I really just put like a template together on Canva and I use the same exact look and I just upload pictures and stuff. So, I mean, it, it is somewhat time consuming, but you know, the clients that we have from YouTube is genuinely like, they just really trust us. Like we have two clients right now from out of state. And they're like, I, I can buy a house with you without even seeing it because I trust you guys. Wow. You guys put and the walkthroughs that we do for our clients. I mean, you just did one for a client who's moving here from Guam. And you know what? Um, like Rose said, when we get these leads, it's funny because we'll talk to them and they say, we already feel like we know you. We've been watching all your videos. and We've only been doing this for a year. So it's surreal. Now we're starting to I was taking my niece, um, I think it was to church and with her friend that we never met, my niece is like, I saw your videos on YouTube. I'm like, really? And then her, her friend that she ne we never met, it was the first time in the car. She's like, I watch your guys' videos too. And I picked and it's weird, right? Have you never done this before? I love it. And then I went to go pick up my son from daycare and the teacher's like, oh my gosh, last night, my husband wa was watching TV. I walked in the room and I saw you guys on the TV. <laughs> I even saw your son. He was doing a little cameo there. I'm like, wow okay are you guys ready you know people are already starting to recognize us with the small following that we have and the fall the subscribers are starting to pick up so our goal is to really just provide education for people uh top things to do what's in the area what fun things what restaurants what houses what neighborhoods what schools and what we're seeing is people are from around the country looking they might have heard of california or sacramento or rockland roseville they're typing it in they come to our channel if they like us they follow us and then they reach out to us but the thing is there's also other people doing it so that's fine we want to we learn from them i think they learn from us there's no competition out there um i think what's hard about youtube and what's hard about success right <clears throat> consistency anybody could go out there and shoot a video I'm not excellent in front of a camera. Rose is better than I am. She's no Anthony Bourdain. You know, we're, we're new at this, <laughs> but we keep doing it. Keep doing it. The many times we're like, oh, I got to get out and shoot a video today. We did it and we kept doing it. And now we're starting to see it pay off. And now we see the light like, wow, this is really working. What can we do next year? Yeah. That's uh Wow. I think the your ability to step out on the ledge, right? Like, what's the ROI? Are they going to do this? How do we do this, right? And I think um, that's like the, we've talked about it before, but that's the ma major first hurdle for most real estate agents is that they're busy, they're in transactions, they're dealing with communication. Um, but when it comes to marketing, getting in front of video, first obstacle. Second is like having confidence that one day this will pay off. And I yeah. think that evergreen marketing that you guys are doing is going to be continuous and, and have longevity, but also your ability to like put yourself in a vulnerable situation. And then now hear people say, Hey, we're, we're actually seeing you. Um, I try to tell everybody, like, if you're going to be successful with YouTube, a 
make sure that you go really area specific or B, make sure you go super real estate niche specific. Um, and then from that, now it's a bunch of beta testing. Like, did this video do good or which one had a bunch of views? And I think, are you guys seeing some su success with that in, in terms of being able to analyze all the videos you're doing and then double down yeah. on those methods? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm addicted to YouTube studio. <laughs> I literally will go through each video and see how many people watched it and how many subscribers and when are they falling off? So um, in the beginning, I didn't do any of that because it was like, we don't have enough content to really see enough information even down to like when to post videos so i was just really? posting videos like i just randomly picked a day i said we're gonna you know post a video on saturday mornings that's it um and now i have enough data to go back into our youtube studio and sh it shows you where the heavy amount of people watching your videos and and it's so weird to see because it's like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday from six to eight, you have like a dark purple of people watching, you know, your videos. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then that, you know, a little bit on Saturday and Sunday. So now we've added a second day on Wednesday nights where we're posting another set of videos. And so you know, just really like slowly learning it. You like for the people who are new, you definitely don't have to do any of this. Just posting one video a week, whether it's, you know, just something quick of you talking about the area or even driving around showing it. it doesn't have to be perfect like if you look at my first few videos it was super pixelated like my face was white and it was just it was ugly <laughs> like i have to watch it go watch it the growing pains are real they are but real. it's like you know i rather put out content and then maybe fix every time I put content out, but at least I'm out there doing it versus like thinking about all the things that I should do to make it perfect. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's been, it's been fun to kind of see like, okay, people are starting to, you know, like this kind of, kind of content we just added. Um, there's a lot of new construction in our area. And so one day I was like, okay, well, I have to look at these model homes for my clients. So I just did a quick selfie, like, hey, I'm in this community. They're building this many houses. I'm going to show you three of different models that they have. And I literally flipped my camera around and just walked around and talked about the rooms. And we actually got two calls from that. And I'm like, wow. okay, cool. Like, they like that. And um, so it's, it's cool to see, like, something can be viewed a lot, but some stuff that's not even viewed as much you're getting phone calls on it so you know it's not necessarily like views and stuff but you know just the quality of the information you're giving wow. and i had like one more question before i hand it back to norm like have you one of the biggest things that i like about youtube videos is their ability to rank on google yes uh, have you guys seen any success with seo or specific type um, of searches so I'm not really sure how all the SEO stuff works yet, but what I have done is we have a virtual assistant. So we actually trained her to um, take our thumbnails and geotag them on Google My Business. So when people search like moving to Rockland, our thumbnail actually goes into like the images. And I mean, I don't know how to do it. She figured it out. <laughs> but, you know, when you do research like some Rockland stuff or some of the areas that we've done, I've seen our videos on the bottom, you know, how like there's Google searches, but then there's videos on the bottom. I've, I've definitely seen ours there. And what I'd like to add to that, a good point to that is she's been doing it for about a year. I kind of joined in. I'm, I'm a less than two year licensed agent and she's my mentor. I'm following her lead. So I've learned pretty much everything from her. Um, but we're still learning. And if there's a lot of newer people thinking, how do I get into YouTube? I'm not good on the camera. I'm not tech savvy. I come from a construction back, uh, background. I'm a welder. I was in refineries for 10 to 12 years. Wow. <laughs> and I just wow. knew, it. I knew it. There's a whole story behind that. I mean, but I knew that it just wasn't for me. And what am I going to do? I'm in my late thirties, I can't just leave a career that pays good. That has all this pension 401k great opportunity. Right. But it's yep. just not for me. So when you go back to, you said, um, faith, man, there was some really hard times. I decided I'm done. 
Even what am I going to do though? And she was just learning and failing and learning and getting better. Her first video, she was pregnant with a green screen and I was still at work. So I'm just like, go girl, you know, but I didn't think <laughs> what she was really doing didn't hit until I got in front of the screen for the first time. And I'm like, wow, I look horrible. I sound bad. I, my timing's off, right? He and used she to tell me, he's like, don't read the script. Like you sound Adeline, like you're right? reading. And then when he started, he's like, man, that's hard. This is hard, right? So I'm like, <laughs> awakening. what did I do? Should I go back? But here's the thing with, I think with success and I'm learning it, I think a lot of people stay in middle-class secure jobs because they're thinking they might want to do something else. But when it's time to take that chance, you're yeah. always hit with, failure and it's always easier to go back where you're safe yeah and i've been yeah. hit with that so many times there's been many times i was going to go back and then i'm just seeing her and i'm sticking to the course it's almost like we moved from the bay area so it would be a long drive i almost burned the boats type situation you need to figure this out steven so get in there and do it and then you get a little bit better your timing wow. gets a little better and then you see things start to pay off so the people that are new out there Everybody's going to say, I'm just not made for camera. I'm not made for camera, but I'm getting better. And we are getting better as a team. And now we're like, let's go shoot a quick video. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to edit it, you know, just a little bit, but let's get it out there. And people say, man, we know you, we, we like you guys. It's like, and that's confidence too, to be like, we're doing something good. Let's keep going. Dude. I have to say, first and foremost, I see Dan there too. He's getting excited about saying something as well as my camera falls on me. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hand up. <laughs> camera gesture stuff here. Uh, for the viewers and listeners out there, and a lot of real estate professionals, they get caught up in the numbers, the subscribers, the how many views, the this, the that, the everything that is just roadblock, roadblock, roadblock. I love the fact that, Rose, you talked about new construction. You're being proactive. You're going to the house anyways, and you just got it done. You know, And then Steven, you're talking about how like, you saw Rose failing forward and you're like, picked it up quick. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get better. And you looked at it as almost like a challenge to get better. Instead of a lot of people look at it as like a discouragement and they're like, I'm done. I'm discouraged. I don't want to do this anymore because of a, B and C or whatever the case may be. And I just love that. Like you figured out how to be consistent with all the thumbnails, which look great. Yeah. Some hit thousand plus some don't 35 to hundred, but it doesn't matter because when you're picking up your kids and then the parents, the, the kids are seeing your stuff, they're watching the channels. Like I think anyone who's out there watching right now, like, like this is a huge moment, I think, for someone out there like that wants to get started with YouTube or just got started. It might be like kind of starting to fail and needing some encouragement. I mean, that that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, if you look at it, we only have we're less than 500 subscribers. But let me tell you, we've had probably about six or seven leads call us. We've closed one deal. Um, wow. And so, and we have two that are literally moving here from different states, Utah and Guam, like in the next few weeks who are like right now, we wrote an offer last night for one of them. And wow. so it's like, you know, it's like, do you want to door knock and, you know, or like, I, okay door knocking works if you work it i get that but it's, it wasn't for me like do you want to like chase your clients or leads or do you want them to come to you and the people who come to us genuinely trust us and they they like kind of fit our character like we just work so well together and I they trust us so much that it just makes our job so much funner and easier and i don't feel like i have to sell them i feel like they just know that we're coming from a place where we want what's best for them it's like you know you have leads where you know facebook leads i've done and i'm calling them and calling them and calling them and selling them and it's tiring with these ones it's like they just kind of fall on your lap and it's like so relieving because it's like it makes your job super fun wow yeah that's amazing well uh i think you're you know the the, to wrap this all up, I think that the demand gen is what you're you're talking about, right? You're creating demand for your brand and, and you as agents. And I think mm -hmm. that personality, that video, you know, that content is what attracts people. And uh, we'll show you off air a little bit of the SEO side. But the um, the biggest and most important thing that I just took from everything you just said in this last little section of the segment was that um, 
you're tracking it, right? But you're not too worried about the tracking because it, it emotionally and, uh, and the effectiveness of being successful with it, you're all right with keep doing it because you like shooting video, right? It's, it's, it's becoming a comfortable thing that you do. And when it starts to succeed and convert, it's going to be way better than knocking on a thousand doors and getting yelled at. So yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's very enjoyable. So, I mean, we do these, we do these like top things to do, like in whatever city we're in. And it's like a day date for us. Like we, uh, don't have we get to go out fun. and eat at restaurants and try all these new places, but we record ourselves doing it. So it's like, we literally have day dates every other Friday. <laughs> And it. what what better excuse than to like go try new places? Because all of us, I think, who's viewing and listening and just us here, you know, on the show, like there's so many places to eat around us that we maybe have never checked out. <laughs> oh, and yeah. so you have like a goal to do that, which is so cool. I absolutely love that. So we have two last, like, I guess you say questions before mm -hmm. we close out. First is we would love to have you on in 12 months. So we want to hear from you. What's the goal for the channel in the next 12 months? Is it amount of videos or clients you want to serve or, or families you want to help? Like what does the next 12 months look like? And then what would be something you would want to share with our audience for them to apply to their business like now? Um, so I think our goal is to what have like 3,000 to 5,000 <laughs> subscribers. I know that's a big stretch of Woo! like difference. Yeah. Um, but we have a business goal ourselves and it's um, – Four, four, what four transactions a month for 12 months. That's a good number. That's a, that, wow. if we do that, we're going to be, you know, we're going to try our hardest and we're going to grow through this year. Yeah. You see us in 12 months. We hit that goal, man. We're celebrating. Okay. <laughs> At least you have a goal. <laughs> we have some people and they're like, oh, I just want to close some deals. And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I you mean, that's how we were it. before. But I think at this point, it's like, you know, it kind of pushes us a little bit harder to stay consistent and work towards something and, and really just kind of for him and I to be able to track and keep each other accountable. To grow, that. you know, we're wrapping it up. Me and her grow more as a team next year because last year was a lot of trial and error with me and her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have a great relationship, but man, I was learning a lot and she always had to teach me and, and now I'm more independent and now we just want to get out of our comfort zone more, grow that way. And, and most importantly, we're just here to serve and help people. We really don't want to just make money to make money. We want to change people's lives and help them. Oh, so that's our goal for next one year. One last one. Sorry. I know we're like good, long, but we actually um, are thinking way out of the box, but we are starting a new show called Experience Rockland where we're going to do like um, go to different restaurants and gyms and like we will go in our gym clothes, work out with the guys, learn a little bit about the owners and kind of do that whole like show type thing. So yeah, that'll be something in a year we can definitely come back with. Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. W what a way to just really step it up to a whole other level and have fun and do what you already probably like to do, which is working out and, and eating. eating food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I told I told I told him the other day I was like that's perfect because we love working out and we love eating so let's just make a show about it. Dude, that is so, so cool. It reminds me of my wife and I, we're, we were talking about a show called Flip That Trailer. We do, we flip <laughs> mobiles. So we're like, that'd be kind of a cool concept. But yeah, um, yeah. that's yeah. catchy. Yeah. I like always it. Gonna, always going to have fun. So what would be one thing you want to leave for our viewers and listeners that they can apply to their business like today? They're thinking about YouTube, they're thinking about getting started or they started on YouTube, did a couple of videos, got discouraged. What would you tell our audience right now so they could take massive action? Stop thinking and just do it. Honestly, like the very, I, it took me a year, like during the pandemic to like, I kept telling him, I want to do this. I want to do this. And then I waited and I wish I didn't um, make a template of like, you know, what city, your city name, um, the, the median in, um, price points, the schools, mm -hmm. and a few restaurants, just save that template and make videos for each city, even if it's three to four minutes long and post it all you need to do um until you figure it out and then start learning on your own but just make it simple keep it simple and just post it wow. and what i'm gonna add to that is research other people's channels 
you know, we get a lot of information from other people. I think we're all in a community where people are going to look at our channel and try some of our things and vice versa. Where if I have no ideas, I'm just going to go browse and, oh, that's a good idea. And then tailor it to you. Okay. So mm -hmm. new age is like, what do I do? What do I do? Go look at other channels. That's your education right there. And then tailor it to you. The next thing for new people, I think is a big thing. Um, the insecurities of, what do I look like on camera? How do I sound? You have to go through those growing pains to get to the other side, but you'll notice each time you get a little bit, you're not going to just nail it the second time. Each time you get a little bit better though. Yeah. And that builds confidence that gives you energy. And then you could see, okay, I am doing this. I can do this. And just, man, what is it going to be like in five years? You're just going to be it's on a whole nother level. So what get out there, be consistent. I, there's one thing I heard and I can't remember who said it, but it was like, if you, you know, you're doing video to add value to people's lives. What information are you giving them to give them that value? And does that value really, do they really care about if you stuttered or if you look a certain way? They're just watching you because of the information and the value you're giving them. So take yourself out of that because all of mm -hmm. us have those insecurities. Yeah. So stop thinking about yourself and think about what value you can give to others. And hopefully that helps a little bit. Wow. That was awesome. Well said to you both. Thank you so much for joining us today. We did go over, but it was such a good. <laughs> Sorry, <stroke. laughs> we <didn't> just talked. <laughs> it was it was good. I was like, all right, yeah, let's keep going. going. <laughs> Thank you guys. It was yeah. so much fun. Of course, of course. You know, we we we're just seeing the writing on the wall. We're like, there's something here with YouTube. It's like, what's next, right? Social media, all the stuff that's been out there. We really feel like YouTube is something that hasn't been tapped into yeah. and it's less noisy, it's more deliberate. You know, like Dan said, we'll talk a little about SEO and give you some tips off off air here. But thank you both so much. We really appreciate you, Rose and Stephen, for being on today's episode. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. We appreciate it. Dan, thanks for co-hosting as always. Yeah, another great episode. Thanks for being oh. on, guys. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Amen. Dan. And thanks to all our viewers and listeners. As it is our intention for you to take things from our episodes to apply to your business, have more massive success. Are you getting a YouTube channel? Are you going to start that for 2023? Are you going to go like and subscribe to Living in Northern California? I advise it. We'll see you in the next one. And <laughs>